Here's a little update on our diamond mining process. These are the diamonds, the Death Bubba diamonds that we capped on March 11th. We haven't broke the jar or anything since then, but uh, we definitely have diamonds. I'll show you here. You can see all kinds of diamonds in there. Yeah, that's a nice big one right there. Look at the size of that one. Can't see. Kind of hard to see because of the jar, but I'm not going to open the jar because I'm still going on with the process. As you can definitely see, diamonds are forming in the bottom of this solution that we had. I mean, are we professionals at making diamonds? No, but uh, you know, we're learning. You know, there probably ha is a little more to it with the uh, exact right temperature and you know, the exact right consistency, but we are definitely making diamonds from what we are doing. So, you know, there's no denying it. There it is. And you know, obviously the more concentrated your solution is, the bigger your diamonds, well, the, the more more diamonds you'll get in that container because I mean, if you don't have much THC in there, you, you can't, you're not gonna fill the jar with diamonds for sure. But we're just gonna leave this here and let it carry on. I mean, we're in no hurry to smoke this and uh, we'll give you some more updates down the road. But, you know, diamonds are in the jar. That is a big fatty right there starting to clump up along it so as the process continues they will grow once once you have one diamond forming it's basically the seed and the rest will follow along oh that suck is getting big i mean look at that well, that's nice thanks for watching guys and viewing and i hope you guys are having some success at home if you're not feel free to uh dm me on instagram west coast croppers one or west coast croppers two and you know we'll try and, try and help you out any way we can Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate all your views, likes, and comments. Till next time. This time we're making an eight ball cush run. We, uh, this one's a lot more concentrated, we know, because we filled the whole half pound tube full of good little small buds and shake and then uh, extract it down to this. And we're not really getting many more bubbles. So we're gonna cap it at this point and I'm betting that because the concentration is a lot more in that jar and this time I'm using a, a better jar to be able to see things with all those stupid designs around it. I'm thinking that we're gonna get a lot better results as far as quantity produced.